Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, Fault Symmetry. Today we are still dressed up in our Halloween gear, of course. Halloween is just around the corner and uh, I have been, uh, I don't know, I guess not really doing anything Halloween related. I guess we did sort of do one main Halloween thing, which is this. If you guys didn't see that episode, definitely check it out. I built some giant tentacles coming out of my base. To sort of dress it up for Halloween, and I believe Zedath definitely came over and had a look, and uh, I think some of the other hermits have definitely noticed it. I've had some messages being like, oh, by the tentacles? Yeah, that's, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't know what the other hermits think of them, but yeah, I mean, they're only there temporarily anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I have just finished up my slot in the Hermitcraft livestream for this month. I will actually say that I think there has been two Hermitcraft livestreams this month, although I wasn't around for one of them. So I guess technically for me, there has only been one this month. And um, yeah, I was not sure what to work on in that livestream. So I sort of did what I was going to do during today's video. Although my internet was kind of being pretty poop so I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I also got distracted and made myself one of these guys which of course is a smite 5 axe and uh, well I need to rename that to phantom slayer although you might be able to notice that I've also got my bow back in my inventory because I think ultimately especially when my internet's not great bow is definitely a lot easier to kill the phantoms than um than the axe, for sure. Although, as I say that, uh, if I can remember, I'll put a screenshot on the, vi the video now, letting you guys know, as when I'm recording this, the actual score. Azuma had it up just a minute ago when he was online, which he's back online now, and uh, basically, uh, I think I'm fourth, which is crazy. I've been away two weeks, not on Minecraft at all, not on Hammercraft at all for two weeks during the month of October, which is when we're doing this thing for and I'm fourth on the leaderboard, which is kind of crazy, kind of crazy, I'll be honest. I didn't expect that to be a thing at all, so I guess I'll try and get to third, maybe I can't even remember what the third one is. Okay, I've just got it up, 774 Grian, uh, so I've got 600 at least to get there, uh, or close to there, so I don't know if I'm going to quite do it, but if I get chances at night time to kill phantoms, I will try, but... Uh, you guys know, I've, I've had two weeks away. I, can't, I, can't, I literally can't bring two weeks of time left, you know, back onto Hermitcraft um, and also make videos and also spend some time off of, off of camera. But anyway, to show you guys what I've been up to in my live stream, uh, here we have uh, part of the room. I think it's looking pretty good. It's very, very pink, which is sort of what I wanted. I did want this to be further back, but of course, you may or may not remember, we sort of have a sheep problem. Yeah, uh, which people in my live stream said that I guess I could sort of work around. I mean, those pens aren't needed anymore, really, because the, the sheep farm is shut and Azuma now has a wool shop. So I guess it's become obsolete, but uh, I won't bother with that just yet. Um, I have an idea if I can get actual real life shulkers down there, which I think is going to be too much of a difficulty. But let me know, guys, Does are uh, shulkers still a thing that you can get in Minecraft? easily. They weren't easy before. I don't know if they've been made easier to collect, but I don't think having a live shulk is going to be an actual option. <laughs> I don't think they're probably still as difficult as they once were. Anyway, let me get some blocks together and uh, we shall carry on from where we are now to continue making the shulk box adopt a box shop slash ado adoption center, I guess, is what it is. <laughs> Quite a mouthful there. I, I guess we'll need to come up with a better name, maybe just adopt a box. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. So after being mighty confused about the phantoms, I assume it's because I probably slept and it, I didn't, like, remember. I I just have to assume that is the way. Anyway, I'm trying to work out how to do this here. We're going to have to have a gap here, though, aren't we? Because otherwise you can't actually get in there. I'm trying to work out the exit. So that is the entrance. It will be water as well, I think. So I guess we'll, we'll probably have something similar. And then we're going to have to have some sort of thing stopping the water, right? So we're gonna have to have like fence gates or something like that that won't get waterlogged. I'm gonna guess fence gates might be the most appropriate way of doing it, although the only word I have on me right now is, is there some oak or is it just acacia? <laughs> yeah, acacia is gonna be quite the uh, the style uh, icon if we, use, if we use these gates right here. Let's let's maybe try it. Uh, we can make two two gates. Um, we can always change the color at another point. Um, but I don't even know if we want to have gates 
I mean, they don't look awful, actually. They'll look better when there's extra colour added in this area. So that's what we have right now. I don't know what is going on here. Why is that a dark colour? Get out of here! Why are there stripes in the floor? It's completely wrong. And also this whole thing needs to be back here because in these grey areas that we have set up, I haven't even explained what this room's meant to look like. Uh, so this is obviously the adopter box shop uh, where I'm going to find uh, hermits that have left their poor abandoned sugar boxes out in the cold. You know, winter's coming up and stuff. So, you know, out in the cold and I'm going to bring them here into the warm for them to possibly come and collect their uh, shulker boxes to then agree that they're going to treat them better. So we could actually make this room even bigger and better. We could change this exit completely and have people go through a room where they have to agree every time that they leave shulker boxes out that they're going to be better to them before they then take them for a fee. Uh, maybe one diamond per shulker box. Uh, we're going to have basically have pens. So there's going to be one, two, three pens on this side, one, two, three on that side. And uh, I will also be selling random shulker boxes. So you're not only going to be able to adopt your own shulker boxes back, but anyone will be able to come here to purchase a shulker box. And the shulker box will include random items. It'll come with a, a variety of personalities, I guess. And uh, yeah, it should just be interesting. So you know when you go to a, you know, an adoption center for a dog or a cat or something like that, um, and you know, there'll be like a little sign there with personality and stuff. Let me know why, what, what would you think a shulker box could have as like a personality? We're gonna actually be putting, I think, signs on these shulker boxes, creating faces. So we can have happy faces, sad faces, all things like that. Um, and yeah, basically we'll have different personalities with the shulker boxes, which I think could be fun. It's a different way, a different concept than normal. Uh, it's one of those ideas that came to me ages ago and I was like, oh, that'd be so much fun and exciting and everyone's gonna love it. And then and then as time's gone on and I've built this massive shulker box at the top, I sort of started thinking, okay, maybe the idea isn't as funny as I originally thought, but I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know if it's just me that finds it funny or maybe it's just quite an interesting, funny concept. I don't know. It's definitely going to be interesting and something different for the area at the very least. Anyway, we need to get some buckets of water to fill that up so that we can actually get the exit and entrance working together. Maybe some more wood so we can maybe change up the acacia if we need to. And I guess I can bring some shock boxes over too so that we can get them in there as well as making their pens. So the pens are going to be, I think, glass panes surrounding them with possible... Uh, like food and drink areas within those so that we sort of get you know the full pen experience Maybe even some carpet so that you know they, they can have a little nap on uh, like a bed or something That could work too. Yes. 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 This is all coming together I'm just digging out the pens right now because as I'm thinking about like personality related stuff with these guys I'm thinking They could also be different sort of Types. Oh no, I'm using the wrong block. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I've used the wrong block. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> These are so similar in color in certain light. Uh, when they're on the wall, you can see the difference, but when they're on the floor, you really can't. It's very difficult. But yeah, I'm also thinking that they could be interested in like a variety of um different landscapes like different maybe maybe depending on where i find them i could build like a, change the flooring up a little bit and like have like a desert one um maybe a grassland one so what we can do is have i got i've got a silk touch pickaxe on me okay let's pick up some grass up here so we'll have maybe a couple pens being grass uh we could have maybe one or two even just being like the the perhaps stone slabs just to sort of um, mix it up a little bit. Have I got plain dirt to like swap that with? I do. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I'm thinking we can have different different flooring um, for the, the variety of different things. I don't know how many blocks. Three, six, eight, possibly might be enough for one pen. Maybe six. No. Oh no, seven. No, I miscounted. Two, four, five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ignore that. Um, yeah, so we'll just do that with that one. So there we go. We've got like two different grassy pens. Oh, this looks really good so far. I've also brought over some fence gates with birch, which might just work a little bit better. Oh, but I right click did it. No, don't do that. Don't be bad. Okay. Does anyone else do that far too much? <laughs> it's so easy to accidentally do that. It's so, like, ridiculously easy. Like... It's just getting ridiculous. Anyway, I don't know how we're going to do this this side. 
I've uh, moved the... I've put some glass over that guy because I may or may not accidentally uh, kill myself on that way too often. I have actually forgotten water as well, so I'm actually stuck down here <laughs> for now. But yeah, so we're thinking sand, maybe some gravel even, maybe some coarse dirt. Maybe we'll just mix it up and... Yeah, let me put some chocolate boxes in there to signify, you know, what we're going to be doing. And then, and then, we can actually go searching for some actual chocolate boxes around the server. And then, uh, I guess I'll let the hermits know I might give them a poke on Discord. But also, I could, if it's used some more, use the post office. Because, I don't know, it's like the perfect thing to use post office for, right? Your chocolate box is, is now missing from the area you last left it. Because you left it out in the cold. Please come and collect your chocolate box from, uh... The adopter box shop. That kind of that kind of message, you know, along that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me go get some shock boxes. Possibly kill some phantoms if they decide to turn up today. And uh, yeah, we we'll get we we'll get we we're getting we're getting our uh, our button our button gear, and um, failing to speak also. But yeah, definitely getting this uh, this thing sorted, which is super awesome. I thought I'd have some iron in there, but I guess not. Dang it, iron was definitely somewhere. Don't know where I put it. I keep losing stuff. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Everything is so messy. So I thought I'd come get some kelp, and I've just, oh my goodness, been attacked by that guy. But look. Found a secret entrance. I'm also going to drown. Oh, he's following me in. Oh no. It's a, I found a false trap. Quite literally, it's trapping me. Uh, hi. Um, what's in here? I want to know. I bet it's nothing. I bet it's just a random cave that someone found. And that was their exit. I literally think that's the case, isn't it? <laughs> I've just ended up in a random cave system. Great. Good job, boss. I thought it was some sort of, like, secret, you know, thing. Because it, like, it just, I don't know. Like, look at that. It looks like some sort of secret little den. But, uh, it, I, I guess it's not. So, yeah, I need to collect some of this to make, yeah, to make, uh, the water source blocks in my shop. And, uh, once I've got that, oh my goodness, I forgot my helmet. Oh, no drown. Um, we should be good to go, uh, to make, <laughs> oh god, uh, to finally make this thing. I forgot about drowns, they're kind of, kind of scary underwater in the dark, aren't they? Oh my goodness, he came out of nowhere. Okay, you guys are pretty terrifying. Let's also watch out for phantoms, because in the water they are not easy to kill in the slightest, that's for sure. So, I've been figuring stuff out here, and I've sort of got some temporary friends in here for now. Names could change. I haven't decided where I'm putting the traits of said shock boxes yet. But just to give you guys an idea, we're probably not going to open this uh, shop straight away as soon as the video goes out. I'm actually going to probably leave it shut just for a little while to have you guys feedback and give me some ideas and all that kind of good stuff. So we've got uh, just three guys here that I just came up with on the spot. So these are very average. Uh, we've got Happy Larry up for adoption who looks very very happy. He actually hasn't got anything inside him yet. I'm actually going to decide on these guys what to put inside them and therefore what to have the price as. Uh, so basically if it's, you know, Happy Larry would probably be one of the best in terms of the stuff inside of them. Although I, I, I feel like I'm sort of being very subjective here. Is that the word? I'm being very... Yeah, Happy Larry is basically going to be the kindest of the of the sugar boxes with both, uh, you know, his personality and, uh, you know, the way he looks. He's very adorable. Uh, we also have Lucy Bell over here, who's also for, up for adoption. A little bit more cat-like over here in the sand pit. Uh, we also have Charlie over here, who is a cheeky chappy. And, um, yeah, that's the sort of idea, you know, giving them personalities and playing around with that idea uh, in the game, which I, I think could definitely definitely be interesting. That was a really bad view there. There we go. Much better. Uh, so yeah, one thing I have come across as an issue is that I can't really uh, put signs down if we've got carpet. So I'm thinking we either do something like this um, or we just actually just go along. Because I mean, carpet only really needs to go in the middle because that's where the lighting is hiding in this room because I wanted the room to be very, very bright. So we could technically just have the carpet get going down the middle and... Uh, wall down the outside. I think that that might be the best way to do that. So that's what we'll do. And uh, because I've put three in here already, yes, they don't have interiors, but you guys can let me know. Um, um, and yeah, basically I'm going to go around in just a second and see if we can find any any lonely shulkers that need a home for the night or a few nights. And uh, we'll see we'll see which hermit is the worst in terms of uh, looking after their shulkers. I think we already know who that might be, don't we, guys? 
But uh, we're definitely gonna be gonna be testing the waters here and figuring out who who is the worst hermit for owning a pet. Um, hoping it won't be Rendog because you know he, he, if anyone's got you know experience, it's him, right? With the rocks and stuff. So um, I don't know. But anyway, on here will be, probably be the cost price of said sugar box, and uh, maybe what we'll do is probably try and find two sugar boxes. Leave one of these blank, perhaps for a future one, because I don't really want to run out of space. I need some more space, and uh, yeah, for those wondering, no, I'm not going to go and find, you know, someone's pile of shulker boxes and then pick them all up and bring them here. That's not my plan. My plan is to just sort of pick up a few. Actually, you know what? Instead of actually bringing them here, we're just going to survey the area. We'll give the hermits a little bit of a heads up when this video goes out, saying that, you know, you need to look after your shulker boxes, but I don't know. I've got a feeling people are going to still be leaving them around. Oh, and it's raining. Great. <laughs> well, let's see if we can see any shulker boxes. We'll we'll have a little bit of a survey of the area, but this rain isn't going to help anyone. This is, in fact, awful. So I might have to wait a while. <laughs> well, a bit of time later, and I figured out where we want to put things. I've decided up here is not a bad option. It's quite hard to see. But again, I've continued with the, the idea. We've got the likes long grass to hide in and dislikes loud noises. So that's, that's Charlie there. We've got likes sand pits and seashells. I was going to add a little bit of a like a stone on the floor to sort of signify it's like a seashell. Uh, dislikes dirt and dust. So if you have like a dirty base or a messy base, they might not like it that much. Uh, we've also got um, likes uh, music to dance to. Uh, this, this is Larry. And um, dislikes bad singers. So, you know... Um, Iskull, uh, you might not want to adopt that one. <laughs> Shots fired. Like, I was trying to do that with a straight face the whole time. That wasn't going to happen. Uh, speaking of uh, buttons, though, actually, I think they might be quite a nice little touch. I keep forgetting to use them as like a uh, a design feature. Oh, I need to get two more of those, I think. Put them on this side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about my own bad joke there. Uh, yeah, and we've got, oh, payment as well. So this is the payment for the rehoming of your shulkers. Um, like, if you, you know say I, I had to rehome your shulker to you um and then if you're buying a new shulker friend you pay in there just so that i can keep them separate it makes it easier for me to keep track of who's paid for what uh and all that good stuff okay and the exit comes out there perfect right so i'm gonna do a bit of a fly around in fact let's get in the air right now because i've got a feeling i haven't had a look around actually for shulkers but i've got a feeling there must be some somewhere nearby i've got a feeling over here there's a lot of stuff going on in fact i know that scar is working on this currently so he will have left a lot of shulkers over there, as we can see. Shall we have a quick little look? A little bit of a, uh... Oh yeah, look at these poor, poor fellas out here. Luckily it's a nice day, although just a minute ago it was raining. Look at this guy, he's even, he's even been fed a ghast head. Doesn't, doesn't Scar know that they don't eat ghast heads? Like, that's not, it's not part of their normal diet, Scar. You know, you need to be careful there. Uh, is there anything else around here? There possibly might be something over here too, so let's have a quick little look. Yes, and uh, what did I expect? Some more shulkers. Again, all these purple purple kind of shulkers. Again, with the... Uh, you know, this one's even been, been placed sideways. Or it's fallen asleep, or it's fallen over, or something. Something possibly bad, bad has happened to that. This one down here possibly got a bit of cover from the from the elements. It's, it's, it's probably okay-ish. It's not ideal um, for a shulker to be in that sort of position because the, the rain can get in. And, you know, it can get quite chilly. But um, that's better than being out in the open. So I, I would give it to that person. They are half looking after that shulker box there. And uh, are there any around here? I don't think so. But uh, let's go have a quick look around the rest of the server. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely quite a lot of shulker boxes for one district over there. The shopping district seems to be uh, quite the culprit for uh, having poor little shulkers left outside in the cold. Well, I've come over here to the Concorp area just to see how these guys are treating their sugar boxes. I don't see any out in the wild here. I mean, there does, you know, there there does exist some wild shulkers, but usually they're not the ones that are in, in big packs. I'm not sure what this is, but that's pretty dangerous. If there were wild shulkers in this area, that probably wouldn't be very happy, uh, happy for them. Um, it would be worrying oh, for them to fall in that. There does seem to be... Seem to be two here, actually. I uh, didn't expect to see these two here, actually, I'll be honest. Um, it, you know, someone's placed a sign a, a sign on, on the site. That's not a way to treat um, shulkers, Wells. Um, surprised to hear from Wells, you know, treating them badly. I, I would have I would have guessed Wells might have been one of the best uh, in terms of looking after shulker boxes. Ooh. 
Do I see one in here? No, I see a chest. Not quite the same as the- Oh! Hello. <laughs> Hi, friends. Um, there's quite a lot of those guys, actually. In fact, right, well, I guess we're cutting our shulker box uh, search short. Do I have my bow on me? I do. Okay, let's see if we can uh, do something here without killing these dogs. Because, you know, I can't be on about shulkers and how they're mistreated and then accidentally kill someone's dogs. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely not going to be... Uh, be my highlight of uh, of this server. Where have they gone? Are they are they all hiding behind that tree? They seem to never follow you. It's really weird. They sort of like to stay where they spawn, which is really odd. And I did, I'll be honest, I did forget that they they were coming for me. Oh, that one vanished. Does that mean he's respawning elsewhere, closer to me? I don't know if that if that's how they work or not. I have no idea. But these guys are quite far away from me to aim at. <laughs> Having quite the difficulty to hit them here. Yeah, not, not, this isn't great. It's also very laggy. Whoa, okay. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. I have been searching around the server, but haven't found too much more, which is actually quite surprising, seeing as though usually I find quite a few more bunches of shulker boxes, especially, uh, especially annoying when they're left when a project is completely finished. Although, saying that, I can't really speak. That guy has been down there for a little while. Actually, no, he wasn't. No, I lie. He was actually inside the chest, which is a, a nice place for them to be because, you know, it's nice and warm and toasty in there. They're safe from mobs and everything. Uh, and, you know, if this if this works and, and possibly is profitable, we could, in fact, it's not even night time yet, guys. Can, did you not get the memo? It's meant to be night time. No, but we could definitely expand the chest because this chest has been there forever. I don't know where that guy's come from, but, um, but yeah, okay, right. I'm going to try my axe out. Well, he was way too early there. I don't know what happened to him. He's vanished up there. I'm going to try my axe one more time to see if I can actually kill them in one hit, but I haven't had any luck with Smite 5, actually. It hasn't been as powerful as I, as I thought it would be. Perhaps if you combine it with uh, cobwebs, maybe it is. Okay, it's all about timing. It's all timing. Oh, I only want to shoot this guy off Tango's head. Blink. Oh, he didn't quite die there. Sad. Right, uh, I want to make sure I'm ready for these two so that we can get, hopefully, to 110. 113. Oh, we've got way more. Way more than I thought. Okay. I want to see how quickly the other spawn went when we killed this one. Because I want to see if it's actually possible. Like, if it's physically possible for me to get like a good number of phantoms, then I will go for the number. But, but I don't think I don't think 600 is possible. Especially when this guy won't land. This woman needs to get her bow out. <laughs> he will not land. He's not excited about killing me in the slightest. He's not interested. Come on, fella. Okay, okay, okay. Bang. Gotcha. Okay, cool. What's that? What have we got? 114. 114. And no more spawning. It's really sad. It seems to be very, very random. I don't know. If you guys know how phantoms work, let me know in the comments below, as well as what you think of the uh, Shulker Box Adopter Box shop, uh, which should be opening soon when we get some input from you guys, because I want to see that I'm, I'm like, I feel like almost I'm missing something. So definitely let me know. I am missing an exterior, so that is definitely a thing. I need some sort of pathway that either goes around to the side or something that involves this area. This area is no good for a shop that goes below ground, but uh, is definitely a space that people can use. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll sort of get a path straight, possibly, to that, and then have a little baby shop here and a plot for a big shop. Maybe I'll just lay out a plot, perhaps. In fact, let, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's sort of have like a, a path coming along here instead of where we originally had it. This, this, this here was here because of, uh, obviously, Jevin's shop that was here that he then removed. Um, Surprisingly, so there we go. Uh, it's no longer there. Uh, I think you moved it over to that wall or something I don't really know. Anyway, that is me rambling guys So thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy the episode. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys all in The next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button